For the Anthony family, deep, endless pain for all to see. Casey Anthony's mother, Cindy, her father, George. Need a break, Stan? No, sir, I need to get through this. Her brother, Lee. <sighs> they didn't want to include me. And Casey herself, at times, unable to control her emotions. The case became a national obsession when little Kaylee Anthony disappeared in 2008. Her mother, Casey, partied seemingly unconcerned for a month until her own mother called police and alerted them to the smell, possibly of a dead body coming from Casey's car. Casey lied about little Kaylee being abducted by a nanny who didn't exist while she worked at a job she didn't have. No one else lied to their friends, to their family, to investigators. No one else benefited from the death of Kaylee Marie Anthony. Kaylee's death allowed Casey Anthony to live the good life, at least for those 31 days. Prosecutors say Casey Anthony drugged her daughter with chloroform, suffocated her with duct tape, and eventually dumped her body in a wooded swamp near her house. But it was the story that defense attorneys tell that rocked the courtroom. Casey was raised to lie. This child, who at eight years old, learned to lie immediately. She could be 13 years old, have her father's in her mouth, and then go to school and play with the other kids as if nothing ever happened. The defense claims Casey was sexually abused by her father and brother and told to lie when Kaylee drowned by accident in the family pool. It was a cover-up, they say, orchestrated by her father. The lurid allegations caused interest to soar. People fought for seats in the courtroom. The weeks that followed brought out investigators, experts in decomposition, insects, plants, even a woman claiming to be George Anthony's mistress. But after more than a month and more than a hundred witnesses, the only one not heard from was Casey Anthony herself. Have you had ample time to discuss this matter with your attorneys, that is the pros and cons of testifying or not testifying? Yes, sir. And has anyone used any force or pressure uh, in making you uh, arrive at that decision? No, sir. Okay. And that decision uh, is your decision freely and voluntarily? Yes, sir. And there will be no more testimony in this case, no more experts or witnesses to call to testify on the stand. Both sides will now prepare for closing arguments to begin on Sunday morning. And then the jury will have the final say in the fate of Casey Anthony. David Mattingly reporting from Orlando.